Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Harvest. Um, we haven't been posting uh, videos for a while, but uh, we're back and we're better than ever. So um, in this video, we are going to be creating a menu bar for our website. So basically, um, but more fitted for smaller screen screens. Um, so as you can see, if I try to reduce the width of the website, and the content down below looks good. But um, in a moment, you'll see the nav bar element starting to collide, and there we go. And obviously, it does not look nice for people who are trying to view the website on phones, iPads, you know, smaller screens, basically. So uh, we're trying to make a menu bar in, the, in today's video, so stay tuned, and let's go. Alright, so now let's minimize uh, the page and open up our HTML page uh, in which we're going to include our navigation bar. So right here, I'm creating a new div with a class called item in which we'll be including our button and I'll create a new uh, element or button and right here, we're just going to uh, head over to Bootstrap. So now I'm going to be copying this, pasting that here, creating a new ID, which I'll just call menu bar. And I will also create a new ID here called menu. Alright, so now that we have that included, we can see the button has uh, been added. So now I'm just going to be copying this whole thing. And I'll paste it right after the container. And we're not going to put it under class. But we're going to create a new ID for this one. And uh, we'll call it menu list. But we want uh, that to be hidden, so we'll head over to our CSS uh, page, and in here we're going to create menu list, and we'll just say display is none. So we don't want that displayed just yet. And I'm right now I'm just going to be including the properties of what I want menu list to uh, look like, the width, the height, etc. that I have uh, put the or added uh, uh, CSS properties in which you know what in based on what I desired the menu list to appear as so a white box 100% width and it should be in front of all these elements yeah now that we're done with this uh, we're going to be creating a new media query in which we'll uh, describe what we want to be seen or to be hidden in smaller screens all right now that we have included our media query so now what we want to do is uh, hide this part so we're just so that um when we are when we minimize our screens to uh you know a smaller width we want this area this class ul dot item to be hidden while this should be shown but only under the click of the menu bar button so I'll just say ul.item instead of creating a new class or a new ID for that. And we'll just say display none. Alright, so as you can see now, um, everything's hidden. But obviously the content will not be displayed yet. So now let's head over to our HTML page and include the JavaScript necessities for this. So we're going to start with um, including a an on click property, and we're just gonna say on click. So when this button is clicked, uh, what we want to uh, be shown or to be appeared or to put to be put into action is our JavaScript function, and we'll call it menu bar. So that now we can head over to our head uh, area, 
include a new element called script and this is where we'll be including our javascript so right here i'll be making a new function called menu bar and um, including our id menu list which will be shown under the toggle of open which we will which is going to be a class that i'll be creating right after this all right um so this is literally the only thing that we're going to be including for our javascript function we're not going to be including anything else so that's the only javascript code that we're going to be adding and right here what i've just said is um take the uh, elements of uh, that are under menu list and when it is clicked um, include the class called open and now we're just going to include that in class right now I mean create that class right now okay so all I've said is display block if uh, open if this is clicked if the button is clicked of course and if it's clicked again then it should be hidden so we do not need to create an if loop for this we just need to write dot class list dot toggle and uh, it will do the rest for us so let's reload that and now we can see our content um, now I'm just gonna change one thing I don't want this to be under a button but I'll just say class equals dark peach so that it looks the same uh, or similar to other uh, classes okay so now we obviously want this to look nice it does not look nice at all so we're going to create a new or menu bar make it look better and nicer So now when we click on this, um, it looks way, 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 way better. Um, and when you hover around it, a color still pops up. So that's just every property of dark peach. Uh, dark peach, I mean. And um, now that we're done with that, we just want the uh, button or our hamburger to look much nicer. So we're going to head over here. And I want it to look bigger. First of all, it looks a little tad tiny. And we also want to get rid of the border. It does not look nice. And also the background color. All right, so now the only problem that we're going to be battling it with is our normal screen so out of our normal screen uh, it kind of looked jumbled uh, jumbled up right now so we're going to try and push this back here so it assumes that um, the menu bar is here when it's really not so um, as you have seen earlier we have added an ID uh, called menu so since it, this is under class item as well so it's also included um, even though it's hidden it's not shown but it's still there um, it's an element it's a child of container so there are three children so and this is justified content um, I believe space around so um, it's all spaced equally by three when it should be just by two when it's at normal screen so we're just gonna try and remove a menu from being seen or items have been restored back to normal so it's been divided twice instead of thrice so it knows that um, menu is not included uh, but I just made a mistake here I put menu bar twice when it's just supposed to be menu so now we can see our nav bar and it works perfectly however we want the max width to not be uh, of a large amount so let's reduce that size to maybe 500 pixels but it does not look nice at 500 pixels so let's increase it further mm, it looks decent but not the best maybe at about 900 pixels should be alright yeah 
Okay, so now we are at the end of this video. Uh, if you like this video and uh, you learned something new, please uh, give this video a like and also comment down below. If you haven't yet already, please do subscribe and uh, press the notification bell so that you can be notified for uh, new videos to come. Thank you uh, again for watching and once again, I'm really sorry for uh, being uh, missing in action for a while. But now we're back and as I said, back then, uh, uh, better than ever before. <laughs> Goodbye and see you next week.